common chambers toward the auricular ventricular junction. Endocardial cushions extend from opposite sides of the atrioventricular aperture and ultimately fuse into a column dividing the channel between the atrium and ventricle. From the interventricular ridge, a proliferating muscular septum advances across the common ventricle toward the base of the heart. Simultaneously, the interatrial septum rapidly grows toward the endocardial cushions, progressively constricting the foramen between the atrial chambers, the foramen primum. Before the foramen primum becomes obliterated, a new opening appears, high on the interatrial septum. The timely development of this orifice, the foramen secundum, provides uninterrupted shunting of blood from the right atrium directly into the left. Another intraatrial septum, the septum secundum, develops from a ridge just to the right of the septum primum and extends down like a curtain over the intraatrial fenestration. The advanced edge of the septum secundum forms the foramen ovale, with the septum primum acting as a unidirectional flutter valve. 